You are welcome to the Messiah channel. We are an end time channel. In today's message, we are focusing on the question Will Nancy Pelosi trigger World War III? Nancy Pelosi, uh, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. We are asking the question because of a recent trip, visit, official visit to uh, Taiwan. And we have before Nancy Pelosi's trip and after Nancy Pelosi's trip. Before her trip to Taiwan in August, early part of August 2022, uh, people were speculating whether China will uh, shoot the plane carrying the U.S. Um, um, politician. And it didn't happen that way. Uh, Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan and she left. And people are asking the question whether Nancy Pelosi will trigger World War III. Um, Nancy Pelosi is second in succession. Uh, if anything happens to the president or the vice president of the United States, uh, by the Constitution of the United States, Nancy Pelosi, as the Speaker of the House, will be the leader of the United States. In 1997, then Speaker of the House visited Taiwan, and 25 years later, in 2022, Nancy Pelosi, um, the, um, the Speaker of the House, the leader of the House of Representatives of the United States visited uh, Taiwan. And there are so many uh, fallouts coming uh, from uh, the visit. Uh, as you are aware, uh, China is retaliating against uh, the visit to Taiwan. And China is saying that the visit is a violation of the one China policy because China considers um, Taiwan as part of uh, China. Uh, what is important, though, is that there's a treaty between the United States and Taiwan, the Taiwan Relations Act, uh, I believe, uh, of 1979. Uh, by this act, uh, any attack on Taiwan will be uh, an attack on the United States. The U.S. will have to come and defend Taiwan as a result of the Taiwan uh, Relations Act of 1979. Uh, apart from the United States, countries like Australia, uh, United Kingdom, and Japan uh, probably will also step up to uh, defend Taiwan in the event of an attack uh, from China. And if you are looking at the UK, UK uh, is a member of NATO. And so if there's any attack on UK, should UK, Australia, and Japan uh, move into uh, Taiwan, uh, they will, it will have implication for um, NATO because uh, UK is uh, part of NATO. Uh, for Taiwan, the exercises that are going on in Taiwan is a test run for a potential invasion of Taiwan by, uh, by China because China considers Taiwan as part of China and China has threatened to invade Taiwan or to liberate Taiwan by force. Liberate Taiwan politically and if it is not successful liberate Taiwan by force. And the visit by Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan has escalated tension uh, in the region of the world, in the Indo-Pacific region. Um, and we now see a close co a co a collaboration, cooperation between uh, China and uh, Russia with regard to the Taiwan issue. And for the United States, there are so many uh, questions we need to ask. Uh, why did Nancy uh, Pelosi visit Taiwan, knowing very well that 
we are living at a time where tension is very high, particularly after the Russia-Ukraine war. Um, we have to understand the actions, we have to understand the plans, the machinations and maneuvers of the military industrial complex. Um, you remember a former president of the United States talked about the military industrial complex, an alliance between the U.S. military establishment and industry that determine the policies of the United States, particularly policies that take United States to war, where the military and the industrial complex uh, benefit. And now people are talking about the military industrial intelligence complex. Um, the possible war in Taiwan um, must be analyzed in the context of things going on uh, in the United States. First of all, um, recession is on the door. And anytime there's recession, anytime the economy is very bad, strategically, and the leaders think about war that will be used to revive uh, the economy. And so at the time that there's recession, or the U.S. is, uh, is uh, heading to recession, uh, no wonder uh, Nancy Pelosi made a trip to Taiwan that has the potential to trigger uh, World War Three, if not uh, a war between um, Taiwan and China that will also involve um, the involvement uh, of the uh, United States. It will involve U.S. in, uh, in war with China. Um, if you look at China, uh, China is the nation with the largest population in the world. And if you uh, remember what Mao said in 1962 during the Cuba Missile Crisis, Chairman Mao said that um, even if um, the U.S. has nuclear weapons, uh, China also has a nuclear weapon. China has a population bomb. So China had always um, uh, what they call considered her population uh, as a military asset. Um, they, 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 they think that uh, you cannot kill one billion people. Uh, you will be defeated. Uh, you will be defeated by the People's uh, Army. And now you see the People's Liberation Army making maneuvers in Taiwan and doing military exercises um, after the visit to Taiwan by Nancy uh, Pelosi, um, the U.S. Um, Congress person from uh, the House of Representatives. Will Pelosi trigger World War III? We are in 2022 and 2030 is not far from here. Uh, 2020, 2030 is a strategy year for the global elites. There are so many things they have to do before 2030. And it's, it looks like they have a manifesto. When we talk about the manifesto, remember um, the Communist Manifesto written by Karl Marx that became the blueprint of communist nations over the world. And you look at it, look as if um, the global elites have a manifesto, and the, we can call it the 2030 manifesto. Uh, it is a deadline for them to accomplish so many things they, that they are planning uh, for the world. They are not good things that are planned for the world. They are things that are planned in secret by secret societies, including the Bilderberg Group. And no doubt that uh, Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan at the time that President Biden has said that the U.S. will lead the new world order. And so the agenda of the new world order uh, is on track. And Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan uh, is part of that agenda. You have to remember John 10.10, 10, the Lucifer Manifesto. The Lord came to bring life in abundance to the world, bring salvation to the world. But Lucifer 
came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. John 10, 10. And war is a means to destroy the world and take billions of people uh, to hell. And those who plan wars, those who through the activities instigate wars, particularly world wars, um, their intention is to steal, to kill, and destroy, consistent with the manifesto of Lucifer, as stated in John chapter 10, verse 10. We're asking a question, will Nancy Pelosi trigger World War III? As we are asking that question, we have to remember prophecy that has been given to America by William Graham that there will be a lady who will be a president of the United States and during her presidency, the United States will be destroyed. William Graham uh, was an evangelist in the United States and gave a lot of prophecies um, that you, we need to take seriously. You can Google William Brigham prophecy on America. And so at the time when a lady, a woman uh, in the United States by name Nancy Pelosi uh, made a trip to Taiwan and it has um, instigated so many rhetorically ashing from China, um, we have to be very careful. And so the question that we have to ask is, will Nancy Pelosi trigger World War III? We are in the end times, and it's time for you to accept the Lord as your Savior. Thank you for listening to this message.